Achoo! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Yahoo, YouTube. I am Super Kinky. Welcome back to another coronavirus update. Just wanted to make another part for the video I made last time, you know, because now coronavirus has now risen to 106,464 cases worldwide. But this is what I really want to know because I've heard from epidemiologists on the internet that right now we're in the growth phase all around the world, meaning that what's going to happen <clears throat> is you're going to start seeing thousands of cases in all the nations that have even double digit numbers today. So let's take a look at what World Meter says for real time updates on coronavirus. So China is fine. South Korea is, is almost approaching 10,000 cases and I expect it to reach 10,000 in the next couple of days. Italy, Iran, Italy and Iran have seen, they seem really, really, really close to each other in the number of cases, but that's very interesting because Iran got the virus a lot later than Italy did. France and Germany, those numbers are definitely going to increase. Diamond Princess decreased, really. Well, no one's on the Diamond Princess anymore, so I assume that's why. Spain, where I live, 525. We've already had our first case here in Alcala de Henares, and I find it absolutely mind-boggling that some of the people that I've told to start preparing for the virus told me literally, oh, it's just the flu. Don't worry, it just kills old people and super young people. If you're healthy, you're fine. Yeah, I um well, I don't necessarily disagree. I do think that it's a little naive to be looking at this worldwide pandemic in that frame of light. Japan, 461 cases, however, it's largely underreported. Same thing as China. USA, 446 cases, and I've read online that testing has failed in the USA. So the number of unconfirmed tests cases it's probably much much larger than the number of confirmed cases so you can expect to see that grow out of proportion in the next couple of i want to say i would want to say days and probably it's, it's probably at this point it's probably days so that's good let's it's not good but so that's that all right, back to Norway, which is where I'm going to see my Ludifico and Tanadi concert, which is the music you're hearing right now. 157 cases. It could increase a lot more. I have to check and see where it's going to be in the later end of March because I still want to go to this piano concert really bad, right? Greece, 66 cases. I'll be going to Greece in April for spring break, so we're going to monitor that as always. And if you just look at this list, I just want you to know how many countries have coronavirus right now. And know that this number is increasing literally every day. Now, if you still haven't started preparing for these, for the outbreak, not, not the virus itself, but for the shortages that are happening all around the world, I'd like to point you to this article Called coronavirus, coronavirus fears have emptied supermarket shelves. Are you panic buying by the BBC? This is over in the UK. Stocking up because of coronavirus, panic buying can ease anxiety, but the effects are typically short lived. Here's a better way to cope. With the mobs crowding local grocery stores this weekend for everything from cleaning wipes and hand sanitizer to pasta, rice, and bottled water, aren't any indication a lot of us are in the in the thors of coronavirus panic. Panic buying happens when people worry about the scarcity of supplies, says Stephen Taylor, professor and clinical psychologist at the University of British Columbia, who specializes in the psychology of pandemics. Some people rush to supermarkets and so forth in hope of getting ahead of the crowd. But in reality, those people are simply panic buyers who happen to arrive early. 
The problem with panic buying is that it breeds more pandemic buying. If you see other people stocking their shopping carts in an anxious frenzy, then that can increase the fear and anxiety in other shoppers, leading people to worry about the scarcity of food, medicines, or hygienic supplies, says Taylor. The combination of fear, urgency, and perceived scarcity can lead to things like people fighting over hand sanitizer in the supermarket aisles. I've seen this happen in Japan. People are fighting over masks. The cr this creates a sense of urgency and leads people to overbuy. That is buying more supplies than they really need, just to be on the safe side. This can create real shortages because people buy more food than they need. So the fear of scarcity can create real scarcities, right? So stocking up can be a coping, coping mechanism. You can read this whole article. I'll leave it in the description. Washing our hands and using hand sanitizers is one of the few things that we're being told that we can do to give us a sense of control over our risk. But again, it's like panic buying. It's normal to worry. I agree. Are you worrying too much? No, we're not worrying too much. How to cope? With fears about the coronavirus stay tuned to the authorities uh, i don't agree with that one keep calm and carry on i somewhat agree with this one i mean i have to keep calm and carry on don't let this distract your life try not to catch fear fear is probably more dangerous than the coronavirus at this point not even kidding because this is actually it's exponential the virus is exponential which means it's going to grow out of proportion really soon and I don't think you want to be in that danger zone when it grows out of control. You want to be a little more in control, right? And don't lose perspective. So yeah, yeah. I'll keep the link here in the article just to talk a little bit about what's happening. And this is happening all around the world. Shel shelves at supermarkets are being emptied all around the world. But if you, I just want to make you aware of what's happening in Washington state as well. There is a lockdown, coronavirus, coronavirus. Schools shut as millions forced to stay home after nine deaths in Washington County. Schools have been shut and millions told to stay home as a Washington County, as Washington County fights against a coronavirus outbreak that has already killed nine people. The self-quarantine order came from officials desperately worked to investigate the King Country Nursing Home, where the outbreak seems to have taken hold. Officials in King County are urging residents, especially those with underlying health conditions, to avoid large gatherings. There have been 51 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the county, which contains Seattle and has a population of about 2.2 million. Washington State, secretly, Washington State Secretary of Health announced Thursday after noon that numbers had jumped up to 70, with 51 in King County and 18 in Snohomish. Yeah. Health officials urging residents to stay home this is a critical moment in the outbreak. All right, so this is a long article. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'll leave, the, I'll leave it in the description, the description if you're curious. But guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, I don't know how to say it. It's a lot, hard, it's a lot more hard to be positive when you're worrying about self-preservation, right? And we need to have good coping mechanisms in place to help us with this virus. And I think the best coping mechanism is going to the supermarket and not seeing everything in the shelves already gone, which means taking some preemptive action to go buy your supplies as soon as possible. <clears throat> I think that this is so important. I can tell you this, I'm gonna show you something really, really, I'm not, I'm not any joking around. I haven't been joking around and I didn't buy this all yesterday either. Let me tell you something. I did not buy all this stuff yesterday. I've been doing this for the past couple of weeks because I've been increasingly aware. So I wanted to show you what we got over here. We got a lot of nice food. We got a nice five gallons of water. We have some other water. We got, we got food for, for a while, man. A couple, I'd say probably like, I could make that last like a week, probably. A week or two weeks at most. But guys, take it a little more seriously than you have been. I'm just looking out for your health. I want you to stay aware. The battle here is not against the virus. The battle is against ignorance. And human ignorance is literally the deepest ocean we have in our minds. That's the video for today, YouTube. I'll keep you updated on the coronavirus. I'll keep you updated on how I'm doing. I'll keep you updated on positivity, man. This is, I'm about positivity and I'm trying to educate and make you more aware because I want you to be more positive. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.